Welcome viewers to Sports Icons. And as you know, last week we saw the early life of the legendary Buck Shelford. This week we will see the real and uncensored version of the only all black captain to go undefeated, Buck Shelford. Buck had played in France and he said, I'm telling you boys it's gonna be pretty dirty, but we just stick to our rugby and we'll beat these fellas because they haven't lost for a long time. Right. And we had a good team, man. Mm. Yeah, it sounds So we got on there, and there was a moat around the field, so the supporters couldn't get on the field. Right. And we know why, because they're crazy, man. <laughs> Throwing shit at us, and, you know. And these guys, the Tordo and Shop, were just meatheads, eh? <laughs> punching and kicking. You know, it was tough. We were getting guys KO'd from behind, kicked all the time. And, you know, at one stage there, I just hauled the team to the sideline. If you, you don't sort your game out, referee. Got down a, uh, um, our... Um, our French, uh, you know, interpreter, yep. and I said, if you don't sort your refereeing out, I'm not going to take my team back on the field. And we won the game, but after that, there was no more rubbish, okay, no more right. fighting, yeah. and everyone got on and played football, Good. which is the way it should have been right from the start. But it took me to, yeah, to go through my interpreter to give him a, a few verbals and say, hey, buddy, you're letting, you know, the, letting the fighting go on. You're allowing them to do it. Clean it up and saying as well but, have a decent game. But did you actually like take into your own hands just to sort things out, calm things down? In well, physically we didn't because oh. you know we, you know we, you know, I, I suppose yes we did it a couple of times, but it was just they, you know they're getting it was so getting so bad they're kicking guys on the ground and the head and everything like that. So and you know you just don't go there, you know. And so, so, so basically the uh, the merry blood came out. You gave them a, a couple of digs oh, and then yeah. sorted it out. But it's not even about that, it wasn't sorting out like that. We had to go to the referee myself and talk to him with an interpreter, sort it out while I'm taking my team off. And for him it would look really bad. Marys, you know, man, we're not shy of That's getting right. in a fight, you Absolutely. know. And Buck, and Buck was there, he's lucky man, he says, just keep the discipline and we'll beat these guys. So we got a few points ahead, three points ahead, right. and they kept. <laughs> and then one of them, the halfback, he kicked out a prop for like Chris Carpenter. Mm -hmm. Knocked him out cold, they oh. took him off. So while they were carrying him off, we had a bit of a huddle. Mm. Buck comes in, he says, there's going to be a fight at the next lineup. <laughs> I see any of you <laughs> hanging back, I'll give you a hug myself. <laughs> <laughs> so it was our penalty, Buck said, kick it out. <laughs> kick it out, lined up in the lineup. <laughs> and it wasn't only Buck and Zinni, but Zinni's two brothers, Robin Brook and Marty Brook. Right, right, right. They, they were meatheads, man. <laughs> And then, like I said, me and Mary, we're not shy of a fight. Absolutely. These fellas forget that, you know? <laughs> so we're like this, and when the Hawker grabs the ball, and he hasn't even gone like this, then he's in front of me marking this fella, come and Eddie. <laughs> and I'm marking Eric Shop, he's way up here, man. And then he's standing there, the boy has a whack! <laughs> so, oh! <laughs> right down the line, man, back, man. Next minute, Alpha Stone in front of Baraka and all he got from flying in from the backs. <laughs> And that was, it was a big oh, fight the rest of the game. And <laughs> yeah, we won that too, you know. Blood everywhere, you know, it's mayhem. Unbelievable. Any, anyone get hurt from your oh, side? one of our guys got carried off on a stretcher. Oh, wow. You know, it's after one of the brawls. <laughs> oh, <God>. so, <laughs> I don't know, it's just, but you know, it's, it doesn't happen today, and so yeah, I'm glad yeah. it doesn't happen, and yeah, it's sure. been cleaned up. And uh, But touring through there, it's tough. It was tough touring through France. Now, in one of your games, um, uh, I, I'm not sure if there's a provincial game, you'll have to sort of try and help me out as we go along. One of the, one of the forwards stamped on your ear, uh, ripping it, almost ripping it off, uh, but you refused to leave the field, A, eh? and then the second thing is apparently you taped it up and carried on, and then that's B, and then C, the only, you, were, you, were, you were wild at the doctor because he decided to drag you off the field, is that true? No, it's, it's, uh, the stories get bigger and bigger <laughs> as time goes on. Normally kicked the buck in the head and his ear was hanging off me. And he didn't want to go off. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. Give me some Vaseline. <laughs> you go like this and his ear was hanging and was swinging. Oh, like, so they taped it up. Oh. And then the, the bandage was just covered in blood and the doctors made him go off. Oh, tough, tough player. Yeah. And Norm was shitting himself in. Eh? <laughs> yeah, sure. was going, yeah, shit, I was hoping the doctors would take him off. <laughs> It was actually a Māori trial. It was right. a Māori trial, and we were down in Palmerston North, I think. I th yeah, I think it was Palmerston North, and, mm. and uh, Norm Hewitt decided to dance on my head. 
and he ripped half my ear off and got it all you know, sewn back up, but oh, they wouldn't allow me right. back on the field. Oh, okay, all you right, know? okay. So the stories okay. you do get bigger. No, no, no. And but but, but I, have, I have from the horse's mouth that Norm Hewitt was praying that you would go off the field, and the reason that was is because the reason that was because you were very angry, and if you caught caught up with him at some point, <laughs> he's had it. Yeah, well, I was pretty angry, but the thing is, you know, we always you always believed back, and even in those days, that the head was sacrosanct. Yeah. And you stay away from the head, but he decided to tap dance on my head and <laughs> rip the hell out of it. But uh, you know that's life; it does happen. You know? And you've forgiven Norm now. Oh, he's, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. Okay, all right. yeah.